All right, real quick video here on how to find the area and perimeter of a blueprint kind of floor plan type of type of figure here. So let's go ahead and start with area. Right, we're going to take a look at the area as it relates to basically uh, this right in here, that rectangle, and then rectangle number two. But we're going to want to think about taking and subtracting that semicircle. So this is going to be area of the first rectangle, 2 times 4. So it's 2 times 4. And we're going to add that to the area of the larger, all oh, this right in here. This is the largest rectangle. All right, that is 32 by 15. Then we want to take, off, take out take out this semicircle right in here as I said All right this whole kind of figure here that area needs to be subtracted so I'm going to take that away so that's going to be minus the area of a semicircle pi r squared over 2 so we have 8 plus 32 times 15 let's see that's 320 plus 150 plus uh, it's 480 okay times pi times radius squared over 2 uh, the radius of this guy let's think about that for a second we've got the whole thing up top here is 32 so 32 minus this piece which is 2 All right, I got that from here and this piece is 13 so that right there is 13. From here to here is what we don't know. And from here to here is 3. So it's going to be 32 minus, let's see, 2, 13, and 3. That is 18. So it's 32 minus 18. That's 14. But that's the diameter of the circle radius is half. So we're going to go area is equal to 488 minus 7 squared is 49 times pi over 2. So we go to our calculator. All right, we've got our calculator here. And I don't think that one's working. Let's see here. There we go. So I've got 488 minus, I gotta put this in parentheses now, 49 pi over 2, close parentheses, so 411.031 feet squared. So that area is one of the first ones we've been looking at here that involves a little bit of subtraction as well. Okay, so let's erase all this stuff. We don't need any of that stuff anymore. And we'll just go ahead and calculate the perimeter. So when we calculate perimeter, we like to put ourselves at one of these corners and sort of walk around. So if we go from this bottom left corner all the way up to here, we've gone, let's see, this is four. So that from, from the dot to the little dash here that's 4 plus 15 which I got from over here so it's 4 plus 15 is 19 so P is equal to 19 plus we're gonna turn and go all the way over here that's 32 I'm gonna turn down here and go 15 we're gonna go over here that's 3 then we're gonna go inside this little semicircle half of a semicircle the circumference now so it's 2 pi r over 2 we don't want those twos there we can always whenever we see those twos we can cancel those out so it's just pi r and we're going to turn this way and go 13 then we're going to turn this way and go 4 and we're going to turn this way and go 2 so now it's just a, uh, it's an exercise in addition here. So we go back to our uh, 
Go back to our calculator. I'll move it over here this time. Let's clear that out. And we're going to go, let's see, 19 plus 32, that's 51, plus 15, plus 3. I'll do it step by step here. Plus pi times r. We already said r was 7. So 7 pi plus 13. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to move this thing out of the way. Uh, all right, plus 13, plus 4, plus 2, plus 4, plus 2. So it's 109.991. 109.991 regular feet. And that is the answer for perimeter. All right, so this is really the first, our first look at, as I said before, uh, kind of subtracting, taking a shape, a region, and subtracting from uh, something else. All right, but when we get down here, we don't subtract, we add, because we're still walking that distance. You still have to walk it, even though you're going sort of inside. All right, that's okay, though. We're still, we're still adding that together.